Hello and welcome to the 13th tutorial on the Cocos Code IDE series. In this part we're going to be looking at code snippets. This tutorial assumes you have set up Cocos Code IDE and generated a project. If you haven't, don't worry, there are tutorials earlier in this series to cover that on Windows and Mac. We will look at some of the code snippets offered by Cocos Code IDE. Code snippets allow us to quickly create the structure of common code such as loops, hence saving you time. Again, it's just seconds like I've mentioned in the other tips from the previous tutorials but those seconds all add up especially when development is going for a long time you're saving time here and there plus also it makes your life easier trust me you'll be happier as well uh, I'm not saying you're gonna have a, <laughs> a smile on your face walking down the street because of code snippet but, but you'll have less aggravation during coding and you'll be more efficient so you're gonna produce a better game in a shorter period of time. So let's go ahead and open up Cocos Code IDE. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up a source file. App.js will do. So if I want to, let's say, create a for loop, instead of doing for blah de blah de blah sorting out the formatting then doing var i equals zero while i is less than something i plus plus took what, about five ten seconds you can just do it simply like this for iterate over array boom it's all done and i can modify these parameters accordingly so maybe i don't want egyptian braces I don't want it to be less than length, I just want it less than 7. We're done! It, it's, it's literally that simple, that's what's great about it. Let's have a look at some of the other for loops offers, so control space. And if you just go over it, uh, using the arrow keys, it gives you some more information. So this one I would obviously iterate over array with a temporary variable. This is the for in loop. But maybe I want, I don't know, an if statement. So I can just do an if statement or an if else statement. It helps save a lot of time, so I don't know, while i is equal to 7, do something, otherwise do something else. Let's check out another example. Let's look at while. So we've got the while loop condition, and let's just say for this while i equals true, sort of braces, and now I'm ready to code instead of going slowly and doing while i equals to true. As you can see, I'm still typing pretty fast, but it just takes a few seconds longer. And these seconds do add up, so we've got the do while as well. And this is obviously a bit more coding. You can format it however you want, put your condition in, and you're all good to go. So th this is something I recommend just messing around with, getting used to uh, code snippets, it's really useful so you, you can be used on Windows and Mac, that's the great thing about Cocos Code IDE the next tutorial will cover running a, a project on an iOS device if you have any questions feel free to message us at support at sonarsystems.co.uk the email will be in the description you can comment, comment on this video or just directly message us via YouTube and as usual, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day